Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through runtime environment or runtime storage management or memory management during program execution. Okay, so basically whenever a program is being executed, it requires some space to store its variables, registers and all those things, right? Yes. So that storage is allocated by the operating system as per the requirements. Okay. So when a program is executing, the program do need some space to store its data at runtime and compile time. Hence, it requests OS to give some space. It gives a chunk of space which includes. Okay. So this is a basic structure you can say guys. It is having code segment, static data area, heap and a free memory and stack. So basically heap will be growing from top to bottom. That is nothing but low addresses to high addresses and stack will be moving from high addresses to low addresses. It will be moving up guys. Okay. Okay. So code code is nothing but it includes the executable code guys. So basically the code is the final code which can be executed directly on a machine. Okay. So it is a fixed size where the code can be stored. It could be an intermediate code or an executable code. Okay. Whereas a static data area, so here the static variables like a global, local variables and static variables will be defined. Okay. Similarly, stack. So here stack goes from grows from higher to lower level where a procedure function is called. Then an activation record is created and it is pushed into the stack. Guys, we'll be discussing about activation record in our next lecture, guys. So based on the marks. So basically, if this topic or this topic is given for six marks or five marks, please make sure that you are writing about activation record because that is the most important thing, right? Yes. So heap. Heap is nothing but to allocate the data at runtime. So basically, we'll be using malloc, calloc, reloc, delete, free, new, all these things, right? So in C and Java, right? Yes. So those comes under the heap allocation. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about a runtime storage management that is memory management while executing a program so in the next lecture we'll be going in detailed about activation record guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching